Hello everybody, my name is Vito Bell. If you're new to this channel, I'm a trumpet player going to school in North Carolina for music and Spanish, and I like wet shaving. So this video um, is about my fifth take of this video. Oh my gosh, it's been crazy, but it is about um, the holes in your medicine cabinet that are designed for razor disposal, uh, double-edged single blade razor disposal. And um, so we'll just we'll just take a look at today's example. Right here, I'm holding the. Uh, whoop. Oh my god! Here, there we are. I'm sorry about those little black lines, but right there, right there. Yours might be a little thinner, might be in a different spot in the medicine cabinet. Um, but there are a lot of homes that were built uh, a long time ago, and uh, they were uh, these medicine cabinets were designed for um, razor disposal. So if you clicked on this video, obviously you probably know these things already. Um, so the real point of this video is uh, me just talking about my opinion on whether we should or should not use these razor slots in our medicine cabinets. So I, um, I have used mine in the past a few times, uh, as soon as I discovered what it was actually used for. and. Um, since then, however, my opinions on things have changed, I, I would say, a lot. Um, so this all kind of started when I saw a post by the uh, Sharpologist uh, Twitter page on Twitter. And um, if you aren't following that page and you're a DE shaver, wet shaver, I would definitely follow it. He posts, uh, he or whoever it is, posts a lot of very, very um, intellectual, thoughtful articles, um, and uh, th th there's a lot of good content on Twitter. I just recently got into Twitter myself. I cannot believe that I've gone so long without um, having all these awesome people and all these amazing connections on Twitter and the um, shaving community. So if you're not a part of that, I would definitely get in on it. It's really, really cool. So um, the Sharpologist's um, article, I'll try and link it in the description below if I can. But the article itself is talking about um, I guess the pros, more more the cons of using these slots. So I, my personal take on things, I guess I would hope is a little different than everyone else's, or at least what I've read so far. So getting right into it, um, I believe that there are two trains of thought uh, in this debate. So each of these um, thought processes uh, take place in different time perspectives. I would say that on one hand, we have the present, and on the other hand, we have the future. So, and uh, this is how I'm filming, by the way. I'm just kind of like sitting on this counter um, and filming in my bathroom. Actually, this is my mom's bathroom. This is not my medicine cabinet. Um, but, okay, so um, I also just got off of work in Asheville. Um, oh my gosh, I just got way off the of topic. So, present and future. So, um, using these slots or not using these slots. So, on the present side of things, when you throw your blades into the wall, they're not going to cut your garbage man's hands. Obviously, they're not. I mean, obviously, they're not going to be around anyone for probably a while, you know? And that is the main thing is our blades um, that we shave with uh, do become a hazard for people dealing with our garbage. Um, in the future. So if you put them in the wall, yes, they are not going to cut the hands of the garbage man who gets your garbage on Mondays. Um, however, um, thinking in terms of the present or the, the future on the other hand, um, is it is inevitable that all things are eventually just going to, going to, to break and to be demolished and rebuilt. That's just the way things are, you know, it's just w with everything. Um, and as soon as you build a house, you know that that house is eventually going to be either torn down or is going to fall down. And with either of those possibilities, um, I would say that um, those blades will become a hazard for people. I mean, as soon as you put those blades in the wall, you know they are going to come out eventually. Somehow, they're gonna come out, whether the house falls down whether someone puts a hammer through the wall, uh, whether someone puts a, 
a wrecking ball through the house, you know, they're going to come out and become hidden little danger blades for someone in the future. So I, I, I would definitely say, you know, putting these blades into the wall is, is, a, is a solution for the present, um, but it does not prepare yourself or other people for the hazards it may cause in the future. Um, that That is what has made me not use my wall disposal slot anymore. Obviously, there are blades in there, you know, and obviously one or two more or ten more blades isn't going to make a difference because, I mean, fr from the, the time this house was built to now, there have probably been hundreds of blades deposited in there. Um, you can actually hear them clink when you drop them through the slot. And when I drop blades through this slot, or when I have dropped blades through this slot, I mean, they clink almost instantly. I would say that there are a lot of blades in this wall. So, yeah, the, the hazard's not going to get much bigger from me doing this. However, I mean, it's like saying, oh, there are already 100 water bottles on the side of the interstate. One more water bottle isn't going to do them do anything, you know what I mean? And I really don't think that's a positive mindset. <laughs> um, and another thing to think about is whether it's with shaving or anything else, pollution, um, carbon footprint, anything, every, every little bit counts because the human population is enormous. You know, when I throw my blades in this wall, there are going to be like 20 other people throwing my blade, throwing their blades in their own walls. And, and I would say that's true for anything, you know, water bottles getting thrown out the window on the interstates, you know, for every one person that's doing it, there are like 20 or 30 other people doing it. And that's why it's a problem. You know, one, if one person out of the entire human population threw their blades into this wall, it wouldn't be a problem. You know, it, it would be like a, a, such a small scale problem. It wouldn't matter, you know, but as soon as these little medicine cabinet slots were invented, it became a huge problem. And, and it just is. And you might also be thinking, oh, well, well, these slots are only in houses that are super duper old. Well, let me tell you, there are a lot of houses like that. I, um, I'm a mover, so I'm paying for college. I have this amazing job and a, an amazing boss. And it's so, I'm so thankful for everything that my boss has done for me, all the opportunities I've gotten in work. And I'm a mover. See, local guys moving. Here's the number too, if you need to move. 828-713-1999. Um, and I see a lot of houses. I spend a lot of my time moving people in and out of houses. You know, every day I could see maybe four houses a day, you know, moving someone out of a house into a house two times a day. So, and you know, like humans do, we need to use the restroom. And so I have seen a lot of bathrooms with medicine cabinets and me being, uh, a, a thoughtful, curious person and a wet shaver, I have to look and see if the medicine cabinet has a slot in it. I'm not like peering into people's lives or, you know, these are medicine cabinets that don't have anything in them because they're moving out or they haven't moved in yet. So, um, but there are a lot of these slots in people's walls, a whole lot. And, and oh my gosh, this is a much bigger problem than I thought. If all of these houses have slots in their medicine cabinets, then that's a much bigger problem than, than I thought and probably than most people think. And um, so yes, I would say thinking about the future is important. Um, realizing that you're not the only person doing things is also important. Um, and then, um, oh my gosh. Okay, the third one, this actually did come from the Sharpologist um, Twitter page. Uh, it, it talked about mold. Um, I never thought of this before, but Imagine all these all these years, decades and decades worth of um, razors being chucked in there. Do you think everyone like dries those blades off before they put them in the wall? I certainly don't think so. I can't remember myself ever like putting time into drying a blade out before putting it into a like a disposal thing. Um, I mean, I'm sure I I do it occasionally, but it's not something I think about. And um, but what it said in the article is that these could uh, present a mold problem or create a mold problem in your house. And oh my gosh, like a bunch of wet razors in a wall, like that have potentially nicked people, lots of different people, lots of different people's DNA and water and, ugh. 
it sounds nasty, and I would not want any kind of mold or fungal spores going into the air into my nose. Oh, it it definitely does not sound good to me. Um, so, I believe that this is the end of my little discussion slash talk about um, the razor slots in the walls. Um, if you are sticking with me at this point in time in the video, 10 minutes and 20 seconds, my average view time is like three and a half minutes. So if you're sticking this far into the video, thank you so much. Um, it means a whole lot. So far, all the support I've gotten from everyone is just so amazing, so encouraging. I feel so inspired to keep making these videos and keep connecting with people. And it's it's just been a really, really pleasant and positive experience. So thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to support this channel, I would I would appreciate you so much. If you could like the video, comment on the video with questions, connect with me on Twitter, um, uh, what else, subscribe, that's a good one. <laughs> that's, that's always really cool to see when people subscribe. Um, and other than that, um, that's the end of the video. Thanks so much, I'd love to hear your questions. Have an awesome day.